we all know entropy as a measure of disorder in classical physics, right? But what happens when we zoom into the tiny quantum world? Does entropy still play by the same rules? In classical physics, equilibration occurs when a system reaches balance, where all fluxes vanish and entropy is at its maximum. This is straightforward enough, but things get a bit tricky when we step into the quantum world. The unique features of quantum mechanics shake things up quite a bit. Around 90 years ago, John von Neumann proposed the quantum ergodic hypothesis. He suggested that entropy increases in an equilibrating quantum system. This seems simple, but here's the twist. Many quantum systems defy this behavior, leading to ongoing debates and research. One of the most intriguing aspects of quantum mechanics is entanglement. Unlike classical systems where we can know particle positions and momenta precisely, quantum uncertainty makes things a lot more complex. This means we can't just apply our classical notions of chaos and ergodicity directly to quantum systems. So how does entropy influence quantum mechanics? It drives the spontaneous decay of unstable particles, affects chemical reactions, and even determines the direction of energy transfer. And what about the arrow of time? In classical physics, it's why time only moves forward. Quantum systems also exhibit irreversible processes, but the underlying mechanisms are still a mystery. Despite these challenges, one thing's for sure, understanding quantum entropy is crucial for grasping quantum equilibration. Recent studies emphasize its role, and researchers are on the hunt for more answers. What is the entropy of entanglement? Quantum entanglement, as you might know, is a phenomenon where particles become interconnected, so the state of one instantly influences the state of the other, regardless of distance. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein famously called it, has profound implications for our understanding of entropy. In classical systems, entropy is all about disorder, but in the quantum world it gets a bit more nuanced. When particles are entangled, their combined state is described by a single wave function. This means that even if the individual particles seem disordered, their combined system can exhibit a kind of hidden order. The entropy of entanglement measures this hidden order. Imagine two entangled particles, A and B. When we measure particle A, we instantly gain information about particle B, reducing our uncertainty about the system. This reduction in uncertainty is reflected in the entropy of entanglement. It quantifies how much information is shared between the particles. But here's the kicker. The entropy of entanglement isn't just a theoretical concept. It has practical applications in quantum computing and quantum cryptography. By harnessing entanglement, we can create ultra-secure communication channels and perform computations that are impossible for classical computers. So why is this important? Understanding the entropy of entanglement helps us unlock the full potential of quantum technologies. It's like having a key to a hidden dimension of possibilities. Researchers are continually exploring this area, making groundbreaking discoveries that could revolutionize our world. In summary, the entropy of entanglement is a crucial piece of the quantum puzzle. It not only deepens our understanding of quantum mechanics, but also opens up new frontiers in technology. Now that we've explored the entropy of entanglement, let's dive into another intriguing aspect of entropy, its relationship with information theory. The concept of information entropy was introduced by Claude Shannon in his 1948 paper, A Mathematical Theory of Communication. Often referred to as Shannon entropy, this groundbreaking theory has revolutionized how we understand communication systems. Shannon's theory defines a communication system composed of three key elements, a source of data, a communication channel, and a receiver. The fundamental problem of communication, as expressed by Shannon, is for the receiver to be able to identify what data was generated by the source based on the signal it receives through the channel. Shannon considered various ways to encode, compress, and transmit messages from a data source. He proved in his source coding theorem that entropy represents an absolute mathematical limit on how well data from the source can be losslessly compressed onto a perfectly noiseless channel. Shannon strengthened this result considerably for noisy channels in his noisy channel coding theorem. So how does this relate to the entropy we find in thermodynamics? Interestingly, entropy in information theory is directly analogous to the entropy in statistical thermodynamics. The analogy becomes clear when the values of a random variable designate energies of microstates. 
In such cases, Gibbs's formula for entropy is formally identical to Shannon's formula. This remarkable connection shows that entropy is not just a measure of disorder or uncertainty in physical systems, but also a fundamental concept in the realm of information. Entropy has relevance to other areas of mathematics, such as combinatorics and machine learning. The definition of entropy can be derived from a set of axioms establishing that it should be a measure of how informative the average outcome of a variable is. For a continuous random variable, differential entropy is analogous to entropy. Understanding the relationship between entropy and information theory not only deepens our grasp of communication systems, but also opens up new possibilities in data science, cryptography, and artificial intelligence. Entropy and chaos theory share an intricate dance, one that transcends mere equations and delves into the fabric of reality. First, let's revisit what we know about entropy. In thermodynamics, entropy quantifies how energy is distributed within a system. It reflects the system's randomness or disorder. When entropy increases, energy spreads out and the system becomes more disordered. Now let's dive into chaos theory. Chaos theory deals with complex non-linear systems, those where tiny changes can lead to vastly different outcomes. Chaos embraces unpredictability, sensitivity to initial conditions and intricate patterns emerging from apparent randomness. So how do entropy and chaos intertwine in this cosmic dance? Chaotic systems tend toward disorder, echoing entropy's essence. But here's the twist. Chaos theory also reveals hidden order within apparent chaos, like a cosmic secret dance. Both concepts challenge our linear intuitions and invite us to explore the universe's intricate choreography. In chaotic systems, the increase in entropy is not just a march towards disorder, but a journey through a labyrinth of complex patterns and structures. Imagine a double pendulum, a classic example of a chaotic system. Its motion is wildly unpredictable, yet within its chaotic swings lies a deeper order a pattern waiting to be discovered. This is where entropy and chaos theory converge, offering us a glimpse into the universe's enigmatic dance. Understanding this relationship not only deepens our grasp of physical laws, but also opens up new avenues in fields like meteorology, engineering, and even finance. By embracing the chaos, we can better predict and adapt to the ever-changing world around us. Let's delve into the fascinating ways entropy manifests across various realms beyond thermodynamics. First, let's dive into chemistry. Entropy plays a crucial role during phase transitions. When a substance transitions from solid to liquid or gas, entropy increases. For instance, liquids have higher entropy than solids, consider dissolving. When solute particles mix with a solvent, entropy increases as the particles separate and disperse. Additionally, entropy rises with temperature due to the increased kinetic energy of particles. Next, let's explore physics. In the realm of statistical mechanics, Ludwig Boltzmann linked entropy to the microscopic arrangements of atoms and molecules. Essentially, entropy measures the number of possible states that comply with macroscopic conditions. Interestingly, the change in entropy remains constant regardless of how a system evolves between states. Moving on to information theory, Claude Shannon introduced the concept of Shannon entropy. This measure quantifies the amount of information contained in transmitted messages, essentially quantifying the missing information before the message is received, but entropy's influence doesn't stop there. In cosmology, entropy helps us understand the evolution of the universe. In sociology, it sheds light on the complexity of social systems. In life and biological systems, entropy plays a role in living organisms and evolution. In economics, entropy affects economic systems and market dynamics. In climate science, it influences weather patterns and climate change. Lastly, in information transmission, entropy governs the efficiency and reliability of data transmission in telecommunication.